Hello and welcome back to Dauntless. Now, what I got in store for you today is a badass pistol build called the Kinect Pistols. And why is it called the Kinect Pistols? Well, not because of the console. The original concept of the build, which is being crit focused and combining Catalyst and Cascade, was invented by Kinect Your Soul, a former Slayer and teammate who sadly quit the game, but I'll make sure that his legacy will live on. Now, in the original, which was way before the Omnicells were added and pistols were reworked, we had the Panga Mine as our biggest DPS source. But nowadays, pistols aren't built from several parts anymore, and Half Life doesn't exist anymore, also. So we have to compare our damage output, and we achieve that by using double hits. That's right, we're playing Chrono with Rizakiri Bound. Now, let me show you what we actually play with. We do have the Chrono War pistols using two times Berserker. We use either Salvo Chamber or Marksman Chamber. This is just as you like. You can choose whatever you like there. We of course use the Captain's Grip and for additional crit chance we use the Lucky Magazin. We have, as I said, the Rezakiri pistols bound in and we play with Discipline. We have the Pangar Lantern with Cascade with us and we use the Trax Helmet with Catalyst. Followed up by the Rezakiri Armor um, Breastplate with Cascade in it. Next we have the Malcarion's Gloves with Predator. And we finish this with the Chronovore Boots with Pulse. Gives us a max of 6 Berserker, 6 Cunning, 6 Cascade, 6 Catalyst, 6 Pulse and 6 Predator. Our potions are the standard potions, Bliss, Frenzy, Ether Drive. Because we want to spam our lantern as often as possible, we take full advantage of the red buffs from Cascade and the green buffs for healing and safety, also the violet buffs for being invincible for a short amount of time. So, now you might think, wait a sec, you're saying that your builds are all player friendly, why the heck do we use Discipline and Predator here? And you got a point, Discipline needs some practice and experience in the game. Either way, the reason why we use Discipline and Predator here is because pistols are the best weapon to learn how to dodge, how to read the behemoth's movement and how to react to them. Cause we are always in a pretty safe spot, keeping a few meters distance and standing in a blind spot of the behemoth. Imagine for example that we are fighting a quiz shot. Take this doll for, uh, for example. Imagine this one is a quiz shot. We stand here between his tail and his leg, doing our stuff. Now we can see, when he raises his arm, this one, we know he will switch to the side, so we just dodge away in the direction, position us anew, and we can continue the shooting. If he tramples with both arms, we know, oh, he will shoot his spikes. So we will just shoot twice, dodge, shoot twice, dodge, and keep on, until he has finished his stuff. Now, you can see the full potential of the uh, build in a uh, in the full gameplay video, which I will link in this video's description. You can actually even see us doing a heroic Umbra escalation there. This, this build is absolutely badass. And I will show it to you in a few fights now. Let's see, I'm level 19, so I can go all the way to Twilight's Refuge. Well, I could I could go all the way to Blazeworks here, but you can you can see just as I mentioned the um, the strength of the build. I think also in Blazeworks um, in the full gameplay video. So, not wasting your time with that by now.
<clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> My throat is a little dry. Okay, what do we got here? We have a shroud, perfect example for the first round, because we also have an elemental advantage here. Let's just start with it. First step, take your take your pots in a safe distance, then run straight to the behemoth and reload. So you will overload your ammunition. Take a safe spot. And when you use the captain's grip ability, better dodge back by it. Um, better do a dodge backwards because... And uh, that way you will make sure that you won't get hit. Now next thing you need to know is that you want to achieve 3 stacks of discipline. Not more, not less. Having 3 stacks is actually perfect. And there goes our first. Now, if I find this stupid thing, which I didn't interrupt, why ever? And finish. Now let's, uh, let me get my orientation back here. So now let's take on that hyperactive little stone claw over there. I will run out of potions in the middle of the fight. That might be a little bit uncomfortable, but I will still manage to do it. Give me a little bit of safety. Run to him and reload. Ah, I wasn't, was too close. Now, if you somehow uh, get into trouble, you can always activate your Chrono Shield. It just has a cooldown of 90 seconds. So it's, uh, it's cooled down very soon. Uh, at the moment I'm playing without potions, so this might take another while. Oh yeah, I love discipline. I love it. Interrupting and still getting hit, this is fun. But he's dead anyways, so who cares? Let me take on a third one. Let me just quickly heal up this time. Oh no, why though? I'm doing a showcase here. Stop glitching. Oh nice. This is nice. Let's see if I can actually hit him. Ah, no use. Okay, let's skip that one. Skip it, skip it. Thank you, Dauntless. Thank you. Thank you. It's not like we got no alternative, right? Let's take on that Hellion instead. Hello there, fella. Let's see if we can manage to get our second discipline stack. No, because it doesn't react. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is. I'm a good player, as you can see. Obviously, no one could doubt that. I 
again. Thanks. Didn't work. Thanks. Who cares anymore? Again. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Discipline is kind of frustrating. Especially if it doesn't work. But no matter what, we are killing, we are slaying, we are ruling this island. There's no way around it, and no way around you when you play this build. Have fun with it though. Let's quickly take a, sec take a second look. So, the Chrono War Pistols with Berserker two times, Devil Chamber or Marksman Chamber, the Captain's Grip, Lucky Magazine, and Resikiri in. Discipline Omnicell, and the Penguin Lantern with Cascade. The Trucks Helmet with Catalyst, the Resikiri Breastplate with Cascade, the Malkarian Gloves with Predator, and the Chronovore Boots with Pulse. Potions Bliss Frenzy, um, Bliss Frenzy Ether Drive, right? And that's it. Have fun with this build and we see you next time. Bye bye.